Hi, this is Francis Cruz with 4 Boxing News, and I am here with Jessica McCaskill, who will be facing Erica Farias in a rematch at the Wintrust Arena on October 12th here in Chicago. Jessica, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Yeah, thanks for coming. So I'd like to know how you got into boxing. I started out with just a, a fitness class, and it was a kickboxing fitness class. And from there, I moved over to boxing. There was an instructor in the same gym, and he was teaching boxing, and right away I fell in love. And how did the opportunity come about to train with Rick Ramos? I was in St. Louis for a long period of time and I switched jobs and came to Chicago. It took about nine months to find Rick in between December of 2012 and around September of 2013. I found him on Instagram just through hashtag Chicago Female Boxing, something like that. And he had a show coming up and I said, I have to get on that show. Found Rick, contacted him, he contacted me back, which was the biggest problem I was having. People weren't contacting me back. And from there, we started working towards that amateur fight, and I've never left. And I also did see the documentary Making the Castle, mm -hmm. and you did really endure a lot of difficult circumstances as a child. Yeah. So I'd like to know how boxing has changed your life. What has boxing taught you? Um, I, I feel like my life has actually taught me a few things about what to expect out of boxing and how to prepare for boxing. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of things and been through a lot of things, and. I've just learned that you have to be strong through a lot of your trials and tribulations and I feel like boxing is giving me a platform to share that with other people. Um, boxing itself has done a lot of things for me. Um, I've, I've purchased a home, purchased um, a car and paid off my school my school loans. And gosh, congratulations. Yeah, it's big. That's it's big. huge. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So tell us about training here mm -hmm. with other uh, with other fighters like mm -hmm. Alejandra Ayala. It seems like you have a good team here, a female fighter. We do have a great team here. Um, Alejandra is from Mexico and she has two belts and she's looking to climb the ranks on the 147 platform. We have Summer Lynn who is pro debuting on this same show in October. We have Kim Carlson who is fighting for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. She's going to trials later on this year. So we have a great group of people who have big goals goals in their sights and we're all really working together to reach those goals together. Wonderful. And you are an investment banker by day mm -hmm. and a professional boxer by night. Yes. So most importantly, <laughs> we would like to know how the hell you have the energy <laughs> to oh. juggle all of this because that is very taxing, very tiring, I'm sure. Yes, it's, it is very tiring. I try to get some naps in when I can, but um, I have long days and I work in boxing around my work schedule. My job, RJ O'Brien, is one of my sponsors for this fight and was for the last fight and they are very understanding and very um, just motivational when it comes to reaching your goals and having a work-life balance and they're really about family and company and, and your own family so it's helpful when you have those things but some of my days start at about 3 50 in the morning and don't end until about 8 8 30 in the evening so you just have to have your priorities in check and once you do that everything flows appropriately wonderful yeah. and what would you like to tell your fans Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for coming out in October and following us on DAZN. All of my fights from Matchroom are on DAZN. Um, just keep pushing, no matter what it is that you're going through, no matter what your goals are, you can do anything. Jessica, thanks for taking the time Thank to talk you. with us today. Good luck on October 12th. Thank you.